Hello, Riverton family. For those who don't know me, my name is Joe Mendez, and I am the general manager here at Riverton Country Club. I'm sorry that we're meeting under these circumstances, but we are doing everything we can to make the most of a difficult and challenging situation. I don't know about you, but for me, when I find myself faced with these challenges in life, diving into books and reading has always been something that I've latched on to. And certainly this is no different. The first thing I came to was The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Now while this has a slightly religious bent, and I understand that it might not be for everyone, for me it's been something that has kept me grounded whenever I've been faced with a challenging situation. And certainly it was the first book I grabbed as we started to dive into COVID-19 and all of the challenges it is presenting. I started to think about some other leadership books as, as we went through this process, as I communicated with members and staff. And the first book about leadership that came to mind was Fish. The Fish philosophy, if you don't know, is about Pike Place Fish Market. And it's really all about play at work. But what it really means is coming to work every day with the right attitude, showing up and being your best self every day. And I think that's very important as we go through this process. Additionally, I grabbed a book by a uh, friend, Keith Ayers in Australia, called Engagement is Not Enough. If you're unfamiliar, it's a play on the Gallup uh, Employee Engagement Survey and taking it to the next level. So it's not just important to have engaged employees, but actually it's very important to have passion in employees. So this book is all about driving passion within the staff. And I think, again, as we're going through the process that we're going through and negotiating the times that we're in, Having passionate people is very important and, and means a lot to me. So it's another book that I've been referring to as we go through this. And lastly, I started thinking about this book, written by Pat Williams, who we all know from the 76ers and later the Orlando Magic. It's a book about the greatest basketball coach ever, if you don't know, John Wooden, who coached in UCLA. What he talks about is the basics, drilling the basics on a day-to-day -day basis. What he'll tell you is, Everybody knew what his teams were going to do, but they couldn't stop them because they did it so well, because they practiced every day. They literally started off practice every morning, remembering or reteaching how to dribble a basketball. And so as we come back out on the other side of this crisis, and we get ready to reopen and welcome all of our family back to the club, it's going to be very important for us to be drilling the basics with the staff to make sure that we get all the fundamentals correct. We can build upon that as we go forward, but getting the fundamentals down is be the key to us successfully welcoming you back to our country club. Now, if you want to talk about fiction, for me, Stephen King, Dean Koontz, Robert Ludlum, and Tom Clancy are my top four, and I'd be more than happy to have a conversation with anyone about any of those novels written by those authors. I believe I've read basically everything more than once written by each one of those authors. I would love to hear what you are doing at this time about reading, whether it's leadership or whether it's just something to lose yourself in the moment and get out of kind of the situation that we're in today. So please shoot me an email, call me on the phone, text me, let's have a conversation, and maybe we'll start a little virtual book club as we move forward through this process. Until then, I look forward to seeing everybody back at Riverton Country Club much sooner than later, and welcoming you all to the 2020 season and a great year ahead of us. Thank you very much and have a great day.